21 in the morning. Like, you know, who cares? Anyway, Wendy will be the last pick for SC, and I think that's actually pretty good. Just a good, good stun hero, actually, for the troll here. Uh, just getting those perma shackles, as everybody loves to call them. It's just normal shackles, but it's like, you know, it's perma shackles, man. It's just perma. That's the problem. Those shackles have never really been nerfed, and God, you know that suddenly you get you get shackled, and you're like, how did that land? That's literally everything I ever say in the world of Dota 2, ever since I started playing this game. My first thought was, you know, I'm going to hate playing against Windy. And, uh, yeah, you know, even there's Naga Siren, no, they can't steal the illusions, and you can't dominate them, but, you know, it's like, there's, what, one, two and a half melee heroes? It's like... You know, they got some good shackle targets, and not to mention, you never know. They could just go ahead and do the jump draft. This could actually be support Windy, though. You never know. There's some things in the world of Dota 2 that's like... Because some people have been baiting out a Naga early pick, and they've made it a core lane. But you, you could late core a Naga, no problem. It's like late coring a... It's like late coring, um, I guess, a Windy, to be honest. Or late coring Night Stalker, of course. That's that's usually the uh, first game thought there. But it looks looks like the uh, looks like the Windy is definitely going to be the big secure here, like that. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gender fluids of all kinds, and whatever the heck you want to define yourself as afterwards. Welcome to game number one of SC versus. Uh, I gotta hang on. I gotta. Evos. Okay, there we go. Cool. I gotta write that down for later. I probably won't write it down. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you all for coming here. Let's get some Dota 2 out of the way. For game number one, we have SC on the side of the Radiant. It's gonna be Bristleback. will be piloted by Cress. Then we have Windy by Poe. Naga Siren by Venge. Death Prophet by YC. And 0209. It's gonna be the Rubik. Meanwhile, Evos all smoked up. They're gonna find Cress. Cress, he went for spikes first, so he is slowed. Everybody went for slows, actually. This is an easy first blood, and there it is. Bam. That was under the 30-minute mark. Evo's claiming that first blood, but now they know that they went for all the slowing stuff. Ancient Apparition going for the bonus damage. And uh yeah, you know, it's just that that's an easy that's an easy first blood there. And that's the that's gonna repel them too. They're not gonna go ahead and go for that rune. Uh, 0209 just floating around just in case. But I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, on the side of the dire, we have a Jakiro. It's going to be piloted by... Now, forgive me for these names, lads, but I'm not super good at these, so we have a... Uh, what is this? Te Teku. I like that, actually. If that's Teku, I'm okay with that. It's going to be playing the Jakiro Night Stalker by Aveil. Ancient Apparition by White Moon, or is it White Mon? It's White Mon. Age, uh, Troll Warlord by I the Logic and Puck by uh, Face Hugger. I'm pretty sure his name is actually just Evos though. As you can see, it's it's uh, Evos dot Evos Face Hugger. So it's probably just Evos. You know, same difference. Same same difference. Anyway, looks like the lanes are still pretty pretty passive so far. Wendy having to walk back to the base. Branch Tango already begin being consumed in the mid lane, and it looks like the supports are getting chased upon here. Venge just following uh, Takeke uh, Takeku, however, however you want to pronounce that. Please correct me later, because uh, I will be able to understand when you do that. Venge, though, maybe could get the kill on Teku here. One more right click should do the trick here. He's walking into the tower range, and he'll be A-OK -okay for the time being. A-OK -okay for the time being. Troll looking a little beat up here. He's actually going to TP out into the top lane. Now, I've talked about this like all the time. Wow, I am sorry for that voice crack right there. I've talked about this all the time. It's uh, people are just TPing out to rotate into their respective lanes more often now. And just look at that. That's pretty much it. Right back down into the bot lane. Aveel's just not going to have that free farm. He's, he's waiting for that wand, though. He wants to get the big boy wand. Before he finishes it up into anything else. Now they're looking for those right clicks out on the crest. It's doing a lot of damage actually. It's still level one. And uh, yeah, nope, it's gonna be easy that one for that one. Just like, man, that I'm still going over in my head that that quick first blood that happened. That was just woo. Quickie. It's a quick first blood. Back up in top. We avenge getting pretty low. 
Logic trying to look for the right clicks, but unfortunately not going to find it. In fact, Poe going to maybe be able to get a turnaround kill. Does manage to find it. Will they get Venge at the end of the day? No, they won't. Takeku trying his best to try and find the jump onto, onto Venge here, but is going to be Naga Siren trying to get the back lines. There's no ward to see them, and Takeku is going to end up going down here. Poe to get a double kill. Easy peasy, ladies and gents. Easy peasy. Back at bot here, Cress. Now, do we have the wand on the stalker yet? He has at least the brown wand. AA walking into the range here. One more spike, and that could kill anyone, really. White Mon, no, getting pretty low. It's going to be Axes that comes out from Logic to claim the kill, though. That was that was a pretty close one there. That could have been an easy double kill for the Bristleback. That's what I'm saying, though, is that just those Bristleback spikes, they do a lot of damage, and, you know, it's, uh, woo. That is, uh, that is something. That is something. That's just pretty much it. It's just like, Bristleback is super strong. Now he died, so he's a, he is back in the top lane. Will that prompt any rotates out from the, uh, from Evos is the question. I feel like Logic at this point understands no matter what lane he's going to go into, it's going to be difficult. AA will be teeping back up into this top lane and getting ready for further uh, further orders, I guess, and Night Stalker getting pretty low in the bot, but it looks like it's fine. Yeah, all in all, it looks like the game, you know, excluding the first couple kills and that really early first blood, the game's starting to slow down a little bit. Night Stalker's still a little bit low, but, you know, Big Whoop, he's, a, he's Night Stalker. He's calling another salve. He's got six wand charges. Of course, you know, six wand charges doesn't get you that far. It gives you you know, math that I don't really want to do right now. 90 HP. I did it anyway. Um, yeah. Logic. He's got the big boy wand, so he's getting those free charges from Cress. Cress is just going to dive the tower here, understanding the AA made the pull. And 0209 is actually here. They're going to find White Mon. There is a lift available. There's the lift. Bringing him back. White Mon getting pretty low. Two more spikes should do the trick. One more right click as well, and it looks like there's one spike being propped. Cress back to the tower. He is going to take a lot of damage here, trying to tango his way out. Can't find it. Gets bashed. Will end up going down. And 0209 to fall as well. Meanwhile, in the mid, do have uh, YC going down. Facehugger getting pretty low. It looks like it is Evo.Facehugger is his name. And that's just a lot of kills happening in that mid there. <laughs> A lot of kills happening. Four kills happening in tow in the past, what was that, 30-something seconds? That was a lot. Now it's uh, iLogic back up in the top. He's low again. No snot specked up for Briss early. I don't think you would ever go for snot early, but there's sometimes you want that extra little bit of chase. That snot will definitely do the trick, but, you know, it's not all the time. It's not all the time that that happens. I, I, it's just like you want that extra aggro. It looks like a veal looking for a courier snipe off there, but unfortunately the uh, death prophet's actually in the jungle. No courier snipage there. <clears throat> Gosh, I guess I should have had that rock star before I started. Because my voice isn't quite the dry. Back up in the top, though, we do have Crest going down again. He's just getting caught out by Logic here, and possibly 0209 slowed up by White Mon, looking for some more right clicks coming out. There goes Whirling Axe's number one. Actually brings him into him and will end up killing him off back in the mid, though. This is going to be a double jump. YC trying to get the kill out onto the puck, looking for it. Can't find it. Not going to find it. Back in bottom, we have Takeku actually getting a little bit low as well. He's shackled up to the trees. Permission and that is a killing spree for the windy and there are a lot of kills happening across the board here but holy cannoli we got facehugger getting that regen rune that has nothing to do with this game status in fact we have a veal walking straight into the naga he's going to be netted up looking for a shackle can't find the bind is going to be able to at least get the kill there poe dominating at least not even six just got to six right now they're working on that. Back in the mid, though, we do have a possible rotation. Looks like it was spotted out, though. Back in bot now. Rooted. Shackle. Not going to need it. One more right click. Should do the trick. Unfortunately, that will prompt the death of Venge, but was split up. The yellow tower back up at top. Do have White Mon getting pretty low on top of that. Bristleback low as well. Logic trying to look for a jump on it. Can't find him. 
And it looks like those spikes are gonna be there. It looks like the lift coming out from the Rubik. Now we have Facehugger coming in, trying to find 0209. 0209 will end up falling in the Naga here now as well. Logic is actually gonna turn. He ults for this. He wants the kill. He's actually in range form, so he's dealing the damage, and Facehugger will get the kill as well. There are so many kills happening on this map this early into the game. It is seven minutes. It is 7 and 12. This is like a bad pub game in real life. Whoa, Nelly. This is some fun Dota. You never get this on like some NA games or you don't ever get this on like uh, some early EU games though. The EU guys are super passive. They just don't like to do anything early. They don't like to get these early kills. But this is what Night Soccer is. It's just like he comes, he shows up, he says, hey, I'm ready to diddle. I'm the diddler. No, <laughs> nobody ever used that. It's too early in the morning for me to make normal sanity jokes, but basically it's just a big thing about Night Soccer back up on top. There's going to be lift out on the control. The Crystal Pack Spikes is going to deal enough damage. Root's going to be there looking for more spikes. Can't find it. He actually ults for some weird reason. Will end up going down though. It is going to be another kill actually in the bottom. Poe getting a veal. And now Venge going to get the kill on Logic as well as White Mon. In comes the Puck though, trying to find some return. We'll get the silence, but it does actually just prompt a raindrop there instead. Although it is going to be Crest taking all the damage he needs. He's going to just basically have to puck that. Breaks one spikes and still eat another one anyway. But you know, once again, you know, Poe is free farming. Poe is free farming. Heroes, not, not, not heroes, but it's just farming up them heroes. Heroes or face hugger, I don't know what to call you. It's looking for a kill down here. Does manage to find the silence, turns it into night, and it will end up killing off 0209. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that there. This is a really quick game so far, using up the shrine and bot here. And yeah, this is the most amount of map clicking I've ever had to do in a game of Dota 2 in order to properly spectate this game. Because holy hand grenades, man, I am going everywhere. Logic, maybe trying to get the jump on Venge. Not going to find it, though. It's just going to be a little bit of damage going on to the face. Back in bot, though. It's going to be the puck lining up to get the jump, causing the bird. The ward reveals him. He's taking damage. He's shackled up. One uh, one arrow will do the trick here, looking for the shot. Can't find it. It's going to win run instead, and that'll be it. And it's going to be face sucker taking a... Oh, will be enough. He will find it, but will Pope be able to escape the amount of magic damage? And he will not. Bound up. Dead. He will be uh, going down there. AA ball going through that is going to go out into the mid looking for a jump. Unfortunately, the AA ball about two and a half miles away from the third continent. And uh, yes, yeah, not going to land on anybody back up in the top though. We do have Troll and Crest. Crest fighting to get that tower back in the mid though is going to be Takeku going down. Man, I, uh, woo. No, I never get these kind of games on NA. Well, then again, we haven't had an NA uh, Pro Dota Cup in quite some time. That's just a personal problem, though. Is going to be a troll ult. Where was that directed? Was he... Was he oh, he's killing 0209. See, I just, like, I'm looking everywhere on the map, man, and it's so hard. It's going to be a Battle Fury troll, though. I like it. I like it a lot. Using the Shrine, Takeku, he's A-OK -okay with it, though. He's got full HP. He must have just came back from the grave. Logic looking to get the jump on Crest. Does get the slow. Right click's coming in. AA ball is a big one, so it's getting in there. Those brisk back spikes will do the trick, and he's going down one way or another. Logic to confirm that kill. Meanwhile, in the bot, Night Stalker trying to defend this tower, but Poe coming in. Lightning almost ready. It's uh, literally 500 gold away. It's one hero kill for him, to be honest, over this tower. Yeah, we'll switch to the network now. We got it, dude. We got it. We're good. We're good. It's around that time anyway, and it looks like this tower was fortified. So Avil is looking to prevent Poe from getting the tower there. And no! Oh, beautiful deny. It will be the Perma Shackle getting the right clicks out onto the Veal. Although Avil coming in, he's got the mango. He will go down still. Poe is in a bad spot, though. Will be a lot of spells going out there. A blast, a lot of ultimates. It is. The one, the only, destroy all the dang trees. Looks like a finally level 6. 0209. Now let's have Whirling Axe's melee. Does break the logic there, but no lift available. It's just going to keep on right-clicking him down. Net's available in one second. Song as well, but obviously won't need it. 
Lift there, they're just looking for the extra damage, and that mischance is doing work. Trying to keep vision on him, not gonna be there looking for him, and this double silence, this is this is a massacre at this point. Now we do have the bristle back coming in though. Is it gonna be anything though to follow up with? And I really don't think so. In fact, I believe Crest is gonna be in trouble here. There's the slow, no silence available just yet. There's one silence, silence going out. A blast to fall through. They saw the perma flare first. Now just going right clicking down here. They're trying their best, but this is what a bristleback is used for. Just annihilating everybody without even trying. Now it's a mid run here. YC using old. It's gonna be Jagiro spamming them spells. The Keku though, just trying to get the right spot there. Not happening there. And AA, yeah, let's look at this carry AA. He is he's loaded. He's loaded. This is a this is a No. This can't be a core AA. Even net worth. Yeah, it's 2.5. There's I mean he could go Midas. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he goes a Midas. A Midas AA, I think in this game, he'd benefit from being a Midas AA. Which would explain why he has a glove ace. I think you usually you usually do go Midas on AA actually, so I don't know what I'm talking about. It's gonna go Tranquils into the Midas. It's uh, pretty 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 standard there to be honest. You know, even with all these windy kills and stuff like that, it's still gonna be the puck leading the top of the net. We're speaking of windy though, Veal might be in trouble. He'll be okay though. I lied. He's not in trouble. It was a misin in misinformative comment, I guess. Whatever. So, Facehugger is going to go for the Yules here. He does have the Blink Dagger. It is going to be... Oh, the Lunary Orb stolen. That's not bad. That'll clean up waves instantly, which is definitely what a Rubik wants at this point in the game. Up in top, Logic netted up. It is going to be Perspex Spikes. Unfortunately, there's no way to break the TP other than dedicating a whole entire 3-minute ultimate for it. But at the same time, Logic could easily turn, and uh, he's not going to. TP obviously not available. He's almost got the battle fury. He really doesn't want to die here. No team coming in. In fact, the only person coming in is going to be the person confirming the steal. Actually, no, Bench goes down. Meanwhile, Mbop, though, the Windy does manage to fall, but Troll does fall at the end of the day. It looks like they're not they're not going for more, but still, they, they got Logic got a kill off of it, and they lost the Windy in the bot at the same time. And this bot tower most likely will go down here. Two in Liquid Fire. Wouldn't be surprised, so they're probably just going to try and push in this top lane. Takeku TPing in, maybe just Macropire the wave. Doesn't have Macropire, and uh, that might actually be a problem here, and he's dead. They do manage to find at least one though, and they find two. Face are going to get a double kill crest, and 0209 to fall. They do get that bot tower though, but uh, yeah, I don't know if that was worth it at that, at that point in time. Let's go ahead and roll up the Windy Net Worth though. You see, she's at 6.4, has the Lightning, which is fantastic to be honest. Like, Lightning on Windy is super good now. 170 magic proc damage that, uh, you know, it's just like, I can't remember what the internal cooldown is. The internal is, uh, it's like 0.2, I'm pretty sure, something around there. It is, uh, whew. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just realized how many kills there are. It is 41 total kills right now. If I did my NA math right, and I think I did, because 10 to 2 is 3 to 6 to 5 to 1 to 11. So yeah, yeah, it's a 41 kill game. About to be 42. Uh, VL keeping for some reason, and looks like there is going to be that value point. Okay, Perma Shackled somehow, still pro, trying to get one kill. They do manage to find White Mon out in the other, like, you know, the, the back ends of the, like, the world there. And yeah, damn, look at that. This is, uh, this is a whale of a good time. I like this. I like this a lot. Veal. Maybe gonna go for the super urns, I like to call it. Looks like they're trying to get this kill top. YC trying to find the Yules, unfortunately burns it on himself. It's not gonna it's not gonna change anything. And Death Prophet will deny the tower. So that's two total towers in this game were denied. One by the Night Stalker and uh, one in the top there. Yeah, it is gonna be the super urn. Logic stealing that gold. It does have the Battle Fury though. You know what's funny is that a lot of people don't know that the uh, you actually have Cleave as a ranged hero. Yeah, it's only 25, but you know, definitely a ranged hero. Oh, look at that, just cleaning that up there. You love seeing that as a troll warlord, and I guess I'd love to say you love seeing that as a support player, but you don't really get that much gold, but it's just like, you know, you might as well. You're there, 
you stack it, you're good. That's pretty much it. Are they really? They're they're gonna they're gonna do Roshan right now. They're gonna do go ahead and double ult for this bad boy. Maybe even bring the Windy in to go ahead and top that off. There's no wards outside the map for this one. Actually, there's literally no wards on the map now. That I think about it. There are there is one ward here for the Dire, and the Radiant have the most amount of vision here. This ward doesn't really accomplish too much. Puck. Does have Blink still available, and looks like he'll be able to get out for then. Although, 0209. This could be bad for him, but at the same time, this could be really good bait. Because again, like I said, they don't have great vision here, so... 0209 is just cleaning up the creeps here. Face hugger. Just, uh, just chilling. Actually... <laughs> 0209 is going to be in a lot of trouble here. Silenced immediately. Takeku, White Mon, stunned. He's dead. Looks like they're going to maybe find more YC plus AA Ball going through the Song of Land. But YC will eat the AA Ball. And Windy looking for a perma shackle here. I see a target landing here, but it's got to be quick. And they're not going to do it in the silence. The Dream Coil. That's a dead Windy. And I don't know what the plan was there, but it wasn't a good one. Four TPs dedicated for this mid defense. They don't want Logic to go down, but Logic looks like he might end up going down here. And, uh, no, he's not dead. That's the Aegis, though. He's got two spikes on him like that, so I think he'll be okay for now. And, uh, unfortunately, it is now day, but, you know, Night Soccer with no mana, what is he going to be able to do here? Lots of spikes going out here. Logic, he's going to proc at least 40 more of them. And by that, I mean he only proc'd one. And he's working on that Silver's Edge. He's got the Shadow Blade up and running in like 20 gold right here. It's going to be a deal. He's going to get the... Uh, I always call that Darkness for some reason. Void. It's going to be the Stolen Spell here. So let's look at some net worth still. Troll on the top of the net worth here. I mean, I'm not entirely surprised about it. Fortunately, not going to be able to get that stack there. And uh, I don't know why he whirling meleeed for that one, but he did. We're running top of the net worth though at 10,100. He's got the Shadow Blade coming in. Puck soon to follow. Blink Dagger has the yields, is going to go for a hex next. I think that's a pretty good play. And we have the Death Prophet running at 8.1. It's going to go for a BKB, has the Blink and the yields as well. And then to follow that, it's actually the Bristleback and the Windy kind of fighting for that next spot there. It is going to be a Blade Mail. Uh, you got the Personal Pipe or the Hooded Defiance. And then the Vanguard to follow up after that. Pretty good. And then Windy, you know, next on that to-do list there. It's going to go for a Blink Dagger in the mid. Did not see that. I apologize. Logic is actually going to get Perma Shackled. And Ro is going to fit or Poe, pardon, is going to finish him off. Although that is a Dream Coil. Poe, he's actually just going to try and run off the, uh, the slow there. He's still trying not to pop the Dream Coil. Doesn't get silenced up. But, and again, that person's on their team. Shackle will go out. Obviously, it doesn't change anything, but still manages to get the Blink Dagger. Not before her death, though. I believe that was a Death Dagger. Yep, Death Dagger. Wait, hang on. Yeah, it was a Death Dagger. She lost a lot of gold for that. Uh, AA. Uh, AA. Death Prophet immediately using Ultimate out on the Jakiro just to kill him off. I don't. I don't think I would ever do that in my lifetime. Dedicating an AA Blast to kill off one hero. Speaking of AA Blast, though, is it going to land? It does. That was a pretty awkward way for that one to go. And Cress, yep, will end up going down. White Mon, actually, to get the kill. It's not bad. Now they get the silence out. YC is just slowing him down here. Super earned. It's going to go out on the Death Prophet. Yule's back up. Not hers, though. It's going to be somebody else's. Looks like 0209 here to help as well. How much can he help, though, when he is dead? And the double Dream Coil will be there. Seems like this dang spell is up just about all the time. And, uh, I mean, it is actually, because it's only 60 seconds, so... Well, 65, but... Well, it is 60. I don't know why it's, it showed more than 60. I guess it's 60 under activation time. And, uh, this puck's going Dagon. Yeah. This is a Dagon puck. Doesn't even have Hex yet. Decided to skip the Hex. He's gonna go for a Dagon. White Mon, do you have your Midas? Does not have a Midas. It's gonna be here in this tower, though. Poe actually getting a perfect shackle. It's actually going to land. Will he get the kill? He does. The uh, Dagons have been purchased, though. Poe getting pretty low. A blast. Not going to find anybody. It is, well, I mean, it does find Crest. Doesn't land on Crest, though, but still. 
There goes the personal pipe. He's going to heal that technically back up there. And, uh, yeah, this could be not a Roche. Trying to look for that troll, though. The Shadow Blade is up and running on the troll, though. Silver's Edge, pretty dang close. That's going to be a huge difference for them, being able to actually kill off the Bristleback just by getting that Silver's Edge smack on him. It's going to be pretty good. There's a Night Stock running at 7.1. It's going to go for a Crimson Guard. I definitely don't disagree with it. Crimson Guard against Windy. Crimson Guard against, uh, I believe, Death Prophet's spirits are physical, so they get kind of blocked by that. It pierces spell immunity, but it deals the physical damage. It deals 58 physical damage, so I imagine Crimson Guard negates some of that damage. I don't know for sure, though. One can only assume. One can only assume. Although it looks like Rubik, I assume he is going to die here. Reveal is going to find the silence. Slow is going to be there. The AA ball to make sure the insurance plan goes out. Does actually do that. Back in the mid though, there's going to be Crest. Here's the Silver's Edge. This is the great reveal and he is destroyed. Removed from the game. That Silver's Edge immediately just changed the game. 100%. Like, Battle Fury straight into Silvers. That was how you play Dota right there. Speaking of how you play Dota, though, it's going to be double silence in the mid. Poe brought up into the air. Not even... No, no, it was an enemy. It was never mind. Poe, though, is going to go down the uh, ultimate from Jakiro just to make sure. And now this tower is going down. And probably the next one. And, and probably the next one, to be honest. Because uh, this is just what you do when you get that one item that kind of wins you the game. That Silver's Edge alone was a strong reason why that happened there. And they're going to go ahead and just whack down this mid. And it's going to be a windy buyback. That's good enough for them. They're going to get on out of there from that. Let's look at this troll's stats here if I can get like a split second. There are no stats on this troll. All right, cool. Well, let's look at stats on this Bristleback. I feel like this guy must play Bristleback if he... Nope. Okay, I'm just... Spitting words out of my bum right now. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right. I mean, I guess not everybody has relics for a random hero they never play. Well, speaking of random hero they never play, though, back in the mid, Aviel is in this. Do they have a sentry? No, they don't. There's a sentry in the middle of the lane, but that's theirs. Radiant are just lacking that vision, man. They have two vision wards. Actually, it's just, they're not that great. They don't really give that much right now for this current map situation. They do know that Aviel is watching them. There's no second sentry, though. Bristleback hit by the AA Blast. Logic coming in. He's going to get the break, and there's the break, and there's the kill. Lift up in the air, though. Silenced up still. The break is dis dispelled. Lifted in the air, and I'm completely wrong here. Troll is going to be the first one to fall. He's going to go for that Lincoln Sphere next, though. It is a triple Dream Coil, though. Not going to do that much of a prop. Pardon. Problem there. Ooh, Taiku could have sniped that Courier. He didn't want to, though. Wait. What courier is that? Why is it going everywhere but where it needs to go? All right, well, that's Silver's Edge. Uh, ooh. That was something, though. That was something. Yeah, so, this game is still, uh, yeah, the Lincoln Sphere is definitely a next good thing. If not Lincoln's BKB, I'd be more likable about the BKB, but I see Lincoln Sphere as a, a good idea as well. Just to not have Windy Ult be a problem. Perma Shackle, but this is a strong, strong Night Stalker. He could just uh, easily turn, and that's exactly what's happening. AA Blast goes through. Does not land on anybody. Arrow will go through as well. Doesn't land on anybody. What? Okay, back up in the top. Facehugger just watching Crest here. They might need a double Silver's Edge Carrier at this point if this is how the game's going to go. So what was what is everybody's predictions on how many kills is this game going to have? Yeah, this is uh woo. How many kills will this game have? It's the same game where you have a dagon puck. 
four hex. And before the the 420 gold talent. Let's see, there's already there's already at least 40. <laughs> there's one more now. Is that uh, Rubik is going down? Fist though is here. Gonna be able to destroy White Mon for that period of time. Big. Sans going out on the crystal back, slowed up, right quick, down, stun's not gonna land, a lot of the damage going through, trying to kill him off, will get him off. Did not need the troll for that one, speaking of troll for that one, do have troll, getting stalked by Poe here, this is actually Shadow Blade Poe. This is a Shadow Blade to Poe. Okay, yeah, this is a... Uh, I am tired. No. <laughs> Let's see. Math. Let's do some NA math here. 4 plus 2 is 6. Plus 2 to 1 is 3. So there's at least, you know, there's 63 kills right now. How many do you think this game will top off you? Probably 100, eh? Probably around 100. I'm, I'm thinking 100. It's, uh, no, maybe not 100 exactly. Death Prophet didn't even, uh, this is a fresh BKB. So this BKB is is gonna change a little bit of the fight. I feel like, you know, a lot of the damage still comes from Troll here. Yeah, a lot of the damage still comes from Troll. Now the game is just quiet again. I think we're just waiting on the next Roche, which uh, Logic is just destroying and manages to get it. And then into his rune just to have that little insurance plan. Speaking of uh, insurance plan, the Jakiro is down. The AA blast expended as well. Do they get the? No, that tower is nowhere near dying right now. Windy TP coming in. They do manage to get the stun out onto the troll warlord. Perma shackle somehow. Look at that range for the perma. I would be pissed right now, and I am very pissed internally and externally. Meteor Hammer does manage to find the perfect channel time. Can't eat the cheese and he's dead. Look at that. Of course, you know the rest of the team died during that phase as well, but like, what just happened? I mean, I know it just happened. I know it just happened. Okay, yeah, so I guess the better question is, how many kills do you think each team will have? Okay, at, at 30, at 40 minutes, all right, because it's basically 30 minutes now. In the next 10 minutes, how many kills for each team is going to be up on the board now? Is there a Midas on this AA yet? Yeah, he's had a Midas for a little while now. YC just looking to find the jump, but can't find it, obviously, because the Blink Dagger is disabled. Poe is standing right on top of them. They got the scan. The lift is going to be there. The stun doesn't really need to follow, and uh, he's dead. And uh, White Mon, no, yeah, they are going to find the uh, jump on Death Prophet. And that's a good times three going down there, but... There's the Naga song. Is it close enough for Hammer? No, they're just gonna go for one. Breaks the song in time. You gotta time that really good. Dagon coming through though. Does manage to kill off the Windy. A blast them to Feral Stuff. It's gonna be 0209 going down though. The silence is available for him. He's not gonna use it now on top of that. Bristleback Silent Stuff. They are trying to find at least one here. Venge looking to be the main target here. Now Facehugger getting low. Blink, Blink not available just yet. He's got two seconds left. He's taking that earn damage. And Aveel, I would not be trying to do this right now, man. He is strong and scary, and now this is no longer a strong and scary Bristleback. He will go down. Looks like they're going to try and find Bench. Oh, Facehugger coming in. We'll find that kill, and that's a five-man wipe, ladies and gents. It's a five-man wipe. And, uh, yeah, there's no Roshan available. The troll was a pretty good explanation on how there is no Aegis. That just, good grief, that just happened. And they're going to walk down mid. They're going to maybe force the DP buyback. If they do that, that, that'll that be a very good buyback to force. But that's the only person that'll even come back here. And I mean, this is the only set of racks they can claim. Most likely, they'll just walk bottom and get the tower at this point. Or they can maybe clean up some of the ad buildings or kill off the creeps. I mean, Troll, Troll can clean up pretty well. Lift is going to be there. Obviously, nothing is really going to follow. And they're going to leave that range barracks up. It's a double cannon anyway, so these racks are bound to fall. One more attack will do the trick, and there they go. And now they'll clean up the bot tower. So he's going to go Lincolns and BKB. See, now I'm not really a fan of going two extremely useful utility items on one hero that doesn't need two utility items. It's like Troll really just needs the one BKB, in my opinion.
But, you know, in my that's just my opinion, of course. But, you know, I said the BKB probably would have been a smarter idea, but I can see why a Lincoln's is still a good idea, because what is that? Uh, this doesn't pierce. I know Wendy's ult pierces, because it's target. So, there's that. <clears throat> he can break mute later whenever somebody tries to get that. Uh, Death Prophet Spirit Siphon. Yeah, I didn't think so. Teku is going to get the stun. Won't find the Yules, though. I guess uh, Yules isn't magic, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Rubik. Uh, I guess he could steal... What would he steal? Uh, whatever. But anyway, it looks like Logic is coming in. Trying to get the kill. That is a uh, song going out, though, with nobody in range. Well, the event just keeping out of there, and yep, he's out of They got the bristle back. That this is the biggest thing is that you're playing a hero, all right, like PA, all right. But you know, bristleback's way better than PA. <clears throat> it's like this one item counters the hero entirely. Oh no, YC, this is not the place to be. The slow is going to be there. The Lincoln Sphere proving useful. The BKB will follow to prevent the net from happening. It's not going to be able to find the jump just yet. Coming in does manage to find the jump on 0209. And obviously that there's a 10 second BKB. So that lasted 10 years. Not saying there's the four staff from the white one. Didn't. Yeah, he managed to go for that first. Nagas Iron buying back. Perma Shackle will be there. It does manage to kill off one, obviously. Shadow Blade will be there. This is Dream Coil holding in YC as well as Bo. Looks like uh, Avil is just the only one stuck on top of the tower here. See Hammer going down. And he is 100% Deto. He is Deto Spaghetto. Logic coming out. Oh my gosh, if they get the kill. Oh, just no HP left. There it is. That wasn't a dieback, but still. Woo! Oh, baby. That is a dead hero. That is a dead hero. Uh, no? <laughs> I'm not going to do that, guys. Last time I was told, I butchered the French accent when I did that, so I'm not going to do that. But I'd totally love to continue to butcher accents for you if you just feel like pointing out whichever ones you want me to absolutely butcher. Anyway, what do we got here? This is this is the point in the game where I'm going to go ahead and talk about a little thing I like to call item development. But of course, there is a smoke. And they're not going to fall for those illusions. I also don't think they saw them anyway. But they did see that smoke because there is a big old ward right here. Ward right here. And that just done did the trick. Gem on the ground. In the base. And yeah, that smoke has done expired, and you did nothing with the smoke. And here's a counter smoke coming in. Teku, they find Cress, and that is... Yeah, he's dead. White Mon will get that kill on top of that. Nagasong will follow, but BKB Logic is just going to bring down Poe. Doesn't even have to try. Looking for the Naga, though. They do get the Q going out. They know where he is because of the illusions. Dream Coil is there. 0209, no steal available because he is silenced and dead. And that is a dead dog here, and that's a GG, ladies and gents. Game numero uno goes to Evos. Game number two to be uh, shortly underway. There it is. So, ladies and gents, that's the end of game number one. Like I said, we got one more game for you. It's the best of two series.